Hello and welcome to the Daily Think Share. My name is Zach. I'm here to bring to you what I've been thinking about, sharing about, talking about, listening to that I don't have time to teach a math class. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. I got a message from one of the people, one of my students in the box of suggestions for videos to do. And the request was, why, answer the question, why do I like the 21 Pilots? So 21 Pilots are a two-man band, uh, Tyler Joseph and Josh, shoot, I forget his name. Um, but they have made a couple of the popular songs that a lot of you have heard on the radio. Um, Heathens, um, Stressed Out, and was it um, Ride. And I'm definitely a big fan of those songs. I thought Heathens became a bit overplayed over time. But one of the reasons I think I really like the two of them is, first off, they're in a genre called schizopop. So if you do some research on them and you listen to a bunch of their different songs, it almost sounds like they're a different sound every time. Uh, for example, their song Ode to Sleep, they have three different changeovers and they go into three totally different like modes. Like You don't even realize you're in the same song. So I love that they are totally free to do what they want with their music and, and their creative spirit. Uh, that was one of the things, that, this might sound strange, but when I was writing my book, one of the things that slowed me down was trying to conform to something that I thought I should be writing. And the moment that I read my, my cousin Robbie wrote a book and he said in the table of contents, he said, there is no structure to this book. It was a poetry book as there is no structure to a creative mind. And after reading that, that was what totally allowed me to write the way that I wanted to about what I wanted to in the form. And it just became a random set of 104 ideas. And so I, you know, I, I feel like they've really embraced that same thing. They make what they want to make. They don't make what they think their genre tells them they should make. Um, they don't necessarily talk about things that they don't want to talk about unless they do. Um, so that's one thing, is they're just totally free to make whatever they want. Um, second, I'm a huge fan of Tyler Joseph's rapping, and I guess you'd say spoken word poetry. I think it's enjoyable to hear the speed. I know I'm always challenged trying to keep up with his lyrics, like Heavy Dirty Soul, I cannot keep up with them, I've tried. Um, there's a couple songs that I am able to keep up with some of the parts, um, and I think he has really great lines, so like in, um, migraine he says am i the only one i know waging wars between my face and a uh, between below my face and above my throat i think that is and so he's just talking about that he's waging a war behind his face and above his throat and i you know i just think things like that are, are clever and there's just not enough of them in today's music you know when i listen to a lot of the the rappers that a lot of the students have listened to uh you know you get future there and he's talking about you know the first two lyrics of a song he's talking about two class I think first first class I think class A drugs Molly and Percocet and why the heck are we listening to him when he's just talking about doing illegal things um, and to be honest it doesn't it, it just doesn't occur to me that it takes a whole lot of talent to to make that specific song you know um, I forget the name of the actual song, but I was just so disappointed. All the students were talking about how much they loved it. And then I listened to it and I was just like, really, this is what everyone's in love with? Like, I get that we wanna like bob our heads to a beat, but like, can we have a little talent in there? And I just feel like that's what Toy One Pilots brings. They bring talent in a, in a place where I feel like that kind of musical self-expression is, is sort of rare. Um, and the fact that he really, he mixes rap, he mixes reggae, alternative style, um, it just, I, I love it all. And I love the meaning behind things. So the name of their band is called 21 Pilots and it's based off, I forget the name of the play, but it's based off a play where, I believe it was a, comp, it, it, a company is creating airplanes and they have this uh, moral dilemma of whether to use the planes um, which they need, I believe it was for a war, or not to, because they know that there's a certain defect in it. And so if they don't get out the planes, then they don't supply the weapons and a lot of people die. If they do supply the planes, there's a poss possibility that the defect will lead to the death of pilots. 
and so 21 pilots died as a, as a result of them choosing the direction they did in the moral, moral dilemma. And so that was what they based their band name off of was that moral dilemma. And you know, I'm not 100% sure how that relates, but I just love that that's how much thought is put into even just the, the name of them. I love that they have so many different um, small symbolic pieces to their music and to their, to their you know, merchandise. Um, for example, if you look at the logo, it's three lines that if, line segments that if they were to continue going, they would all intersect. But I believe reading at one point in time that the purpose of it was not to look like anything. It was just to have three sort of random looking lines that did not have a real purpose. And so I, I just love the, the thought that goes behind a lot of the different actions that they take that I don't think a lot of artists put out there, or at least the ones that I know of. So those are some of my thoughts of why I'm a really big fan of Toil and Pilots. I went to see them in concert um, with my wife back in 2016. It was a graduation present for my master's degree. And uh, it was really cool being a part of that. It was so funny because the so many of the fans there know so many of the lyrics that they barely had to sing. They just had to drop the beat and then pretty much the entire um, crowd did the work for them. So. It was really unbelievable experience. I highly, if you don't know much about Twilight Pilots, I highly recommend learning more about them. Blurry Face is a great album, and um, you know, I, there's just so much meaning littered among their lyrics that it's worth listening to and it's worth reading about, um, rather than some of the mindless music that we hear today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the person that asked the question for asking it. I enjoyed talking about it. Again, in my suggestion box. Um, I, I would love to receive more, maybe even parents tonight for a parent teacher, uh, sorry for open house, I'd love to see your comments. If, you're, uh, if you enjoyed this, you want to receive updates, you want to receive updates whenever I come up with new things, please hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to give it a like in the comments, share with me your thoughts on what I said, and stay weird.